at off time the t equal to t off and whenever the at off time t equal to t off the product x equal to a by 2 it produces the product is x equal to a by 2 means half of the reaction is complete the completion of half of the reaction it required time the time is called as half time so here t equal to t of it producing concentration is how much a by 2 so this condition this is your equation 1 this is equation 1 okay the equation 2 from equation 2 and 1 from equation 2 and 1 you are reading this one while applying of equation two terms one is t time and x time these two values are applying in equation one you are getting this equation that is k1 equal to 2.303 by here t here t is nothing but your t of into log a by a minus x a minus x equal to how much a by 2 x equal to a by 2 that is k1 is equals to 2.303 by t of into log 2a minus a by 2 that is nothing but you are consider total mathematical derivation it converted to log 2 okay now k1 is equals to 2.303 by t of into log 2 value is 0 0.3010 while applying for this one the k1 is equals to 0 0.693 by t of 0 0.693 by t of this is our mathematical equation for the calculation of half time by using first order of reaction that is k1 equal to 0 0.693 by t of so means this relation so here 0 0.693 is your constant value so constant value means k1 the removing of this proportionality constant we are getting direct relation 0 0.693 is constant 1 by t of so means here 0 0.693 is the constant value so k1 is proportional to t of so means the first order reaction is not depends on half time okay the first order reaction is not depends on half time means this is simply written as k1 is proportional to 1 by t of 1 by t of is nothing but your 1 by a naught means the first order reaction is not depends on half time means here at half time whenever the, the first order reaction at half time the rate of concentration is increases its time is maybe increases or decreases so means it is a independent character but first order zero order reaction the k0 is directly proportional to half time means the zero order of reaction is depends on half time the first order reaction is not depends on half time that is the first different difference and second difference is the first order reaction is depends on concentration term the concentration of reactant term but zero order of reaction is not depends on concentration means whenever the concentration increases the zero order of reaction may increases or decreases at initial time but first order reaction is totally depends on concentration but not of time so this is the mathematical derivation for first order reaction is for of time k1 equal to 0 0.693 by t of now after this one you are now another characteristic term is graph graph for this process on x axis again consider time the time factor on x axis the concentration factor on y axis 
it gives so your concentration term is nothing but your log a by a minus x log a by a minus x concentration log a by a minus x is on y axis time is on x axis it gives you one slope that slope value is that is your k1 is equals to 2.303 by t this is your slope value okay so this is your first order reaction and zero order of reaction mathematical derivation and its characteristics and the calculation and derivation of half life or half time of zero order and first order so after this completion of derivation of first order and second order of reaction so we are discuss differences so differences between order of reaction and molecularity so what are the differences are there in between order of reaction and molecularity is so i'll discuss this topic order of reaction and molecularity okay so this topic is already completed so only differences order of reaction the sum of the power of the concentration terms is called as order of reaction molecularity means the number of molecules are participated in a chemical reaction is called as molecularity okay here participation of number of molecules is called as molecularity the sum of power of the concentration is called as order of reaction okay and second factor the order of reaction value is maybe zero it starts from 0 1 2 3 4 5 like that and sometimes its values are fractional values and integer values means like 1 by 2 1 by 3 3 by 2 4 by 2 like that so fractional values and zero values are present in order of reaction but in molecularity is maybe the number of molecules are its values are starts from 1 2 3 4 5 but may not be zero in molecularity zero is absent but in order of reaction is maybe zero is present okay next to the order of reaction the calculation of order of reaction is a direct process it is experimental process but molecularity is a theoretical process the participation of number of molecules in a reaction based on that we discuss we given that term that is molecularity okay example only one example for order of reaction and a molecularity i am explaining one is a plus b plus c gives rise the product so for this one the rate is directly proportional to concentration of reactant terms concentration of a concentration of b concentration of c so means your sum of the power of the concentrations are 3 so means the rate is equals to k into the removing of proportionality constant k equal to concentration of a concentration of b concentration of c so means here k value is how much 3 that is your third order of reaction here how many number of molecules are participated three molecules means its molecularity also 3 its molecularity also 3 this is your order of reaction now when i am explaining another term the order of reaction and molecularity reaction values are may same or may be same or may not be same means for example if you consider the fractional values reactant and fractional value of reactant b it gives the product okay in this conversion the rate 
is directly proportional to concentration of A term that is the number of moles of and B number of moles of. So the rate is equals to half plus half that is your removing of proportionality constant we are getting okay. the concentration of A and the concentration of B. The concentration of A is half time this is also half time. So half plus half that is total 1. So means rate is equals to k1 is equal to how much 1 so k1 is equals to a into of b into of so means its molecularity reaction is how much 1 1 means that is your first order reaction this is your first order of reaction but its molecularity the molecularity of reaction is how many molecules are participated here two molecules so the number of molecules for this molecularity is 2 means in first example order of reaction and molecularity of reaction values are same but in second example here molecularity is 1 but molecularity is 2 means in particular chemical reaction the order of reaction molecularity is may, may be same or may not be same. So this is important because order of reaction calculation is experimental process. But molecularity means how many molecules are participated in a reaction. That is your molecularity. This is your concentration term. So these are the differences between order of reaction and molecularity.